Good morning. It's uh, 5.05 a.m. And after three days of hard practice, you're a little worn out. Day one of the Bassmaster Southern Open starts now. This video you're watching is going to give you the next two days of the Bassmaster Open. Everything I do, we're going to film it. Stay tuned. It's going to be crazy. I'm headed to the ramp. <laughs> Today's forecast, temperature in the low 80s, winds light and variable. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna ride around. We're gonna try to find Mr. Alec Perrick. We're gonna see if we can do a little challenge today. And also, we've got a partner with me today, co-angler from Louisiana. Kevin Booty. Mr. Kevin Booty right there. We're gonna have a you good day. You know the Duck Dynasty guys pretty well? No, no, but they're, no. they're close. You're from Louisiana, you should. Yeah, they're I'm north friends with a couple of them. So again, guys, it's a sight fisher rama. And guess who got boat three? Boat three, John Cox. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, John Cox can catch a big bag today. Because when you get both three on a sight fishing tournament, uh, that's a pretty good thing. Let's go find Perrick and see what he's up to. Oh, I think we have found him. I think we have found Mr. Perrick. What's up, big dog? What's up? You hear the drone flying? That's Brandon flying it around. Really? Yeah, you hear yeah. that? I called, I called uh, Bose and I was like, hey, can I find my drone? And he's like, no. Yeah. In the tournament. And, I, yeah. and then he said, some guy's got a cameraman. Yeah. He's not allowed to look at the drone footage. I figured it was Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. What's what up, man? How's it going? How you doing? I'm Scott. I'm good. Gabe King. Gabe, nice to meet you, this man. This guy's a big bass slaunch slayer. Yeah? He caught slaunch three. slayer. He caught a, well, how big was that thing? It's a slaunch slayer. It's a word. 15. 15-3. What? Uh, no, in Tennessee. Chicken log. Oh, you're the dude that caught the 15-3. That's me. That you're like a teacher, right? A school yeah. teacher or something? That's right. I, I remember reading the story. That's yeah. awesome, man. Campbell County High School. That's right. All right, so we've got the man right here, Mr. 15-3. My biggest is only 11-6, dude. You got me smashed. Still a big one. Yeah. Oh, we got the national anthem. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we just found Perrick. He's fishing with Mr. 15-3 himself. And uh, he's got a couple 15-3s that are on beds that he said I could catch. So. Yes. Yes. I, I, I saw a couple. I am hoping that all five of mine can weigh 15-3. <laughs> actually but so we, we just came up with another good idea so there's a v future video coming guys where i'm gonna go go fishing with him mr 15-3 on chickamauga and we're gonna try to do some little deal we're gonna go try to catch the 15-4 so it's gonna be fun all right so the challenge we gotta have a challenge today dude here's what i was thinking or did you have an idea well i just that that not really just think we had to do a challenge but i mean it does complicate things because on alex's side he has a three fish limit on my side it's a five fish limit so to make it fair somewhat fair my smallest three versus your three you'll weigh yours you'll know what yours weigh and then i'll just weigh mine in my live well and my smallest three will weigh whatever and that total weight against your total weight That's for good. today yeah tomorrow are you gonna be vlogging and, like catching a bed fish and you're gonna yeah. have your camera yeah i got my chest oh, right now. oh wow. look at you yeah. you got a camera there. Yeah, i'm chesty in it look, look at there. there and that camera that's right. That's right. Look at this YouTuber. Yeah, I'm a I'm a tube youber. All right, guys. Blast off is coming, and uh, we're out of here. So stay tuned. This video is gonna be pretty uh, pretty cool. I hope it's either gonna be really really good or really really frustrating. One of the two. I'm not sure yet. All right. There's the man himself. No wake zone, sir. No wake zone, sir. He pro he probably <laughs> probably forgot all of his fishing rods in the truck. Again, Bassmasters Day One competition. We're gonna compile the next three days, hopefully. But two for sure. Got a little side challenge with Parrot. His best three against my smallest three. And uh, we're about to get this party started. So we're gonna go through the blast off boat and um, do in at four o'clock. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we're going through blast off. So what we do, they check our live wells, make sure we don't have fish in there. We go through boat check, they give us a little key cob. Boat 92, John England. Let's see you, John. Follow that one right in front of you. Four o'clock. 93, Daryl Pond. Follow okay. John England. Good job, Daryl. Yeah. Good luck, guys. We got to pull the kill switch and verify. All right, guys. We're done. We'll see you. So what we got to do is we have to idle through a lot of these little canals. The Harris Chain is a very unique fishery. Uh, it has about, I don't know, six or eight lakes that are all connected by little canals and little rivers. And we're idling in one now. So we ran across Lake Harris. We got to idle across this little deal here, across another lake, through another beautiful little spot. And then we're off to a little area that I'm going to be fishing. So it's going to take probably 30 minutes to get over there. Time you 
you know, idle and do all the things, but it's a really pretty lake and there's a lot of big fish. I figured it was a three pounder. I said three five on my GPS, but yeah. it's three. It's a three. Number one, boys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, buddy. Number one, boys. Number one. What's the length limit on this lake? Yeah, he ain't 12. Oh, I see a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a five pounder. Oh my gosh, there's like an eight or nine pounder there too. There's a five and like an eight. The five pounder's got it right now. It's not a five, it's like a two and a half. Dang it. But maybe that female will bite. Dang it. I put him in the box for a second. I might throw him back. I thought it was a dang five pounder. Maybe there's another one up there. Got her. I got her. Got her. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> right there. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. All right. Oh, that was a bonus fish. <laughs> that was so shallow and clear that those fish looked bigger. Because I thought that two pounder was like a five, and I thought that five pounder was like an eight. I finally found her sweet spot. I finally found her little spot she didn't like. And I kept timing, timing her little rotation. And I just kept seeing her little path. And that's the trick to it. You just gotta watch your little path and get your timing right where you don't spook them, but yet you kind of get their interest. Oh, that was a good deal. Yeah. I got her. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's about what I thought. Three and a half, four. I marked it as a four. <laughs> We're going, boys. Thank you, Lord. I got that little two pounder. I got a five, two, three something, a three, a three and a half, and a two. That's what I got. I need more than that, a lot more than that. But see, here's the deal. You run to those females, like this morning, we ran to a couple females. Those are males right there. That, that five pounder was a female, but that was a new fish. But you run to those females you find in practice, a lot of times they're gone, like this morning. Just a little one. That's number five though, right? Just a little dude. So my estimations are a little off, but still a fish. That's number five. I don't know, uh, a five and two threes is 11. 12, 13, 14, I got about 15. 15 pounds. I got a five pounder marked up here. That's a big one. Look at that going across that hole. Oh, it's like a, it's big, dude. One's all over it. Got it. Oh. about boys we're heading somewhere we're heading somewhere boys that's a call right there that's a call thank you sir how awesome was that guys all right guys so it's about uh 141 i got a little over an hour to go i need one real big fish or maybe a good four and a half pounder to have a maybe 20 pounds uh i've got two pretty good ones two real good ones and one small one at this point. So maybe 18 or so. Uh, a lot of these fish are gone. I'm not sure what to expect for tomorrow. Hopefully uh, I can stumble upon a couple new ones, but check these out. There's a lot of bass in there, boys. A lot of bass. That dude's got four wheel drive. I mean, that car was driving through the river. What? What did I just see? Well, all right, so we're done for the day. What's up, guys? We're done for the day. Did one last minute call. Gained about a, maybe three quarters of a pound, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm just gonna have to get after it tomorrow, see what happens, so. 
you know, I'm not going to be leading the tournament, but I survived. That's the important thing. I survived. From Clouston, Florida, Scott Martin's coming on up. Scott's got himself, it looks like a decent start, a decent limit of fish. We're looking for 23 pounds and 12 ounces, 23-12 to take the lead. Not quite enough to do that, but a good solid start at 19 pounds and 14 ounces. Hold a couple of those up for me, Scott. And, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Hold a couple up and then we'll get the fish back. I want to weigh, weigh the three small ones. I got a side bet with Parrot. Oh no, we're yeah. not weighing small fish. We don't, have time. we don't have time to weigh small the fish. The bag right now, whatever that bag weighs. Oh, you want a total yeah. weight? Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. What was your? What did you think it weighed? Those three small ones. Nine. Nine two. Nine, two. All, right. All right. So nine two. I got a beast pair. All right. Do you have an eight pounder? You don't. But nineteen fourteen. Good start for you. Well, yeah, it was a true blessing. You know, any time you do these sight fishing tournaments and a body of water like this, you got to make a lot of decisions. It's all, it's all about making the right one. And I, I made a little adjustment today about ten thirty, and it worked out. I caught a couple of nice fish. So. You know, we just have to do it again tomorrow. So I just want to say hi to my wife. She's home watching uh, on the internet, and uh, hope we catch another nice bag tomorrow. All right, look forward to that. All right, we'll see y'all later. Hey, buddy. All right, guys. So uh, 1914, basically 20 pounds. So that was cool. You know, I'm not leading, but I survived. And uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do tomorrow yet. I've got a few more little things to try, and then we're just gonna go fishing. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed watching it. It was pretty cool catching those couple of big fish on camera. And hopefully tomorrow we'll do the same thing. So. We'll see you in the morning. I have to admit, this, this challenge that we accepted yesterday morning was a bit unfair. But it was my smallest three. I mean, it could have gone a lot of different ways. I yeah, mean, yeah. I could have had like, you know, two two-pounders and a one-pounder. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yesterday, I had 19, 14, and our little bet with, with Alex was my smallest three versus his three fish limit. And uh, and I won. I took him down. I had nine, two. He had, what'd you have? Four, 13. Four, 13. You know, this tournament fishing is stressful, I have to admit. Because every day it's going to boil down to making the right decision. Because you can only fish one spot at a time. You can only make one decision at a time as far as where you're going to fish. I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. I'm going to start where I finished yesterday. I caught a nice fish yesterday afternoon. I'm going to start in there and see what happens. And then, uh, based on what happens for 30 minutes, then we're going to make a run and go snatch up a few off beds and hopefully find a couple new fish. Because that's what happened yesterday. Hope you're enjoying this little deal. I've got my partner today, Mr. Doug. I had, uh, I had, I had Mr. Booty yesterday. I got Mr. Doug today. He, hey. wor he works at the Harley dealership. Absolutely. Come on down. I'll show you one. He's got a trailer hitch on his Harley. He pulls his bass boat with the Harley. Absolutely, I do. All right, guys. Blast off right now. I'm gonna have to find a couple new ones, man. There's a couple that I might be able to catch, maybe, but they're a little squirrely. I, mean, I think there's some two and a half and threes left, which would give me, you know, 14, 15 pounds, and then you come back up and it's like Paul yesterday, he had an a eight and a six. So his other three were three pounds. And those big females, they're just not quite on that pad bite yet in the lake. And they might be in the pads in here. As soon as that pad bite goes, if it goes off, like today, this afternoon, you can get two, you can get two big ones. The male, at least. Maybe that female bite now. She keeps coming up there. That male keeps, keeps biting. All right, number one, two pounder. It's a start. Two pounds more than I had a minute ago. I do know that. Looks like a good one. He's tilted on it a couple times pretty good. Like I thought he was gonna bite it, he just didn't. I mean, this is just a freaking train wreck, dude. Maybe she'll bite now. I don't know. I'm a better sight fisherman than I'm showing today. I promise you that. These fish have just been stupid today. They're, they're tilting on it. All, even that one on that pad that we found that new one back, it tilted on it like saw its whole white belly and everything. Oh, 
Okay. Bonus fish. All right, time to call. Oh my gosh. What's the big one, dude? I don't know if he's on there or not. Lost him. So, it's all over and done. I'm gonna fall short of winning this tournament, which is gonna be disappointing, because that's all I'm here to do is win this thing. Win one of these three. And uh, anyways, I don't know what I could have done different. I, I thought the pad bite would happen. It didn't, obviously. I lost one really nice fish there at the end that would have helped the cause. Had lost a couple sight fish that would have helped the cause. Other than that, I did everything I could do. I just didn't quite figure this place out as good as I should have. So we're gonna go weigh them in, hopefully survive and get a check. If not, it'd even be a worse drive home. So anyways, go see what happens. What's up, guys? Woo! How y'all doing, man? Good. Good to see you. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Y'all back saw again? saw you yesterday. I know. What's up, dude? <laughs> How y'all doing? Doing good. And y'all, in the video, it can make y'all look gigantic because I'm saying we're down this little ditch. Just five? Yeah. I did get five, but it's not as big as I need them to be. Thanks, yeah, man. Scott, can you sign the car real quick? Sign the car. That's funny. John B. All right. Doesn't work, Crocs. Thank you, you very much, Scott. Funny, appreciate dude. it. That's We're funny. Good. How about our next angler, Scott Martin from Cluiston, Florida, at 1914 on day number one. Well, yeah, just I'm going to come up a little short. It was just one of those days where uh, a couple of those bigger fish, I was having a hard time getting them to bite, and just it didn't work out. So, you know, just uh, looking forward to the next event. Had a good time here. A lot of uh, a lot of the young, a lot of the young anglers were here today, and I, I really appreciate that because that's the future of this sport for sure. Absolutely. Hang tight, though. Eighth place right now. 11 pounds, one ounces. One ounce, uh, 30 pounds, 15 ounces, never know. We gotta talk right now real quick because right now I'm in eighth place, but there's still like 50 more or maybe even 100 more people. So I'm not gonna finish in eighth place. But right now I'm in the top 12. That's kind of cool. You know, hey guys, you work hard, you make a plan, you try to execute the plan accordingly. If I had to turn back time and do anything different, I don't think I would. I just, I missed some opportunities. I had the bites to maybe not win this tournament, but to finish real high. So, you know. We're gonna head back to Cluiston, get ready to head to Gunnersville, and that's gonna be the next video coming up, guys. We're gonna be heading to Gunnersville in Alabama. We're gonna be doing the same thing here, vlogging practice and vlogging the tournament. So stay tuned for more cool stuff. And um, I gotta go find Parrot for sure. So guys, appreciate all the support. Drop some comments below, and we'll see you real soon.